Okay, in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard K400 with built-in multi-touch touchpad. Now, I got this from Amazon for about $40 shipped. And that's because I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I get free shipping. As of the filming of this video, it's listed on Amazon.com for $39.94. And I'm going to use this keyboard in my home theater PC setup in my attic. So without any further ado, let's just open this up, grab my trusty cutter here, and let's cut this open. Alright, most of this box is filled with packaging, and here's the actual keyboard itself. So let's pull this out and put all this to the side. Okay, so let's take a quick tour around the box. This is obviously what the keyboard looks like. Again, it's the K400 Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard. And it's made mostly for a home theater PC setup or if you set up your laptop connecting it to your television set. And the reason I say that is because it has a touchpad incorporated into the keyboard itself. So you don't have to have an additional mouse with it. Let's just flip this over. Just has some information back here most importantly of which it tells you that it has integrated multi-touch just like you might expect out of a touchpad. So let's crack this thing open here. There we go. That's the keyboard itself. So let me get it out of here, out of the box. And you get some documentation here and of course you have the dongle over here. Now, this dongle is a very small USB dongle. So you would stick this into your USB port on your computer or if you're going to use a laptop, whatever, and that will communicate with the keyboard. And if you want, you can actually use this, which is an extender, to make it a little larger. But I like the fact that you have the nub here that it's just really small and unobtrusive in your USB port. Again, like I said, you could just stick it in here if you'd like, though. So that's pretty much everything in the box. Let's put that to the side and let's focus on the main event here, which is the keyboard itself. Now, this keyboard is very similar to the Google TV keyboard, uh, the Logitech Review with Google TV keyboard, and I'll show you that in a second. Now, of course, you have a full QWERTY keyboard here with all your function buttons on top. And then you have a couple of additional buttons up here. This one looks like a right mouse click button, a mute button, a volume down button, and a volume up button, and then a home button there. Now, this is your touchpad over here, and it has a little design on it. And it has, of course, your left and right mouse click there. It's got a nice click to it, but it's not obnoxiously loud. The keys have a nice spring to them, and it's probably going to be very comfortable to type on this. Logitech makes some great keyboards. Now, it appears that the front of the keyboard and the actual keys themselves are made from the same black matte plastic. And, of course, in the upper right-hand corner, you have your Logitech branding. On the back of the keyboard, it's white and again very similar to the Google TV keyboard. You have four little rubberized feet here and then you have your battery compartment in here. And let's open that up. The battery should already be installed. There we go. Already have two AA batteries installed and then you want to pull these things out to initiate the contacts. And there you go. Let's close this back up. Now the plastic on the back is sort of a off-white matte plastic and you have your Logitech branding embossed right there. It's pretty much smooth on all sides here. And then on top you have an on-off switch right here. And here you go. This is the Logitech Review with Google TV keyboard. And then this is the K400 up here. As you can see, the K400 takes a lot of the design cues from the Google TV keyboard. 
The only difference being, obviously, that the Google TV is for Android and it has a lot of different function buttons on it, whereas this keyboard is for Windows. You can also use it for Mac, I believe, but uh, it's basically for a traditional computer, so you have traditional keyboard functions for that. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick update on this wireless keyboard. Since wireless keyboards are pretty straightforward, it doesn't make sense to make a dedicated review video for this device. So I thought I'd just include my impressions on this device in the unboxing video itself. So far I'm really happy with the keyboard. I get a good signal from the keyboard to the USB dongle attached to the computer. And generally when I'm using this keyboard, I'm sitting probably about six or seven feet away from my computer. So there's no lag or any problems when I want to type something or when I want to navigate the mouse with the touchpad. The touchpad's very responsive, the buttons are responsive, and the keys are very responsive. There's only one thing I could think of that's a drawback to this keyboard, and it's the small shift button over here. You get a regular size shift button on the left side, but on the right hand side it's just a small shift button. So if you blind type like I do, you might actually hit the page up button here, which causes problems if I'm answering questions on the YouTube page here and I want to capitalize something, I'll go to hit the shift button and I'll hit the page up button. Causes some problems. I've encountered that on the Asus netbook that I've reviewed on my channel here. I would have much preferred that they took the up, down, left, and right keys and put them here under the touchpad. But that's really my only gripe with this keyboard. Other than that, I really like it and I definitely recommend it for any home theater PC setup. So that's the K400 Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.